terming the BIMSTEC summit as a bridge between SARC and ASEAN countries. External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid exclusively spoke to DD News correspondent Siddharth Sibba. The third BIMSTEC summit has started in Myanmar's uh, new capital. With me is uh, the External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid. So welcome to Durashtar News. So my first question is how important BIMSTEC as a grouping is for India? We use and think of BIMSTEC as a bridge between SARC and ASEAN. We are committed to SARC, we are committed to ASEAN. So why would we not be committed to that incredibly, incredibly valuable bridge between SARC and, uh, and ASEAN? Uh, this is uh, uh, part of the architecture of our Lukis policy, BIMSTEC, and I think BIMSTEC is inherently valuable as a major focus on the Bay of Bengal, where a lot of the benefits will accrue to us, but certainly will accrue to all the other countries as well. So what's there at the agenda this time around from India's side? Well, I, India, India is here uh, to contribute, participate, uh, uh, add value. Uh, we are looking at four priority areas that uh, we, are, uh, uh, we are leading in. Uh, we will be uh, we are making a major contribution to the Secretariat budget, uh, which is now being which is now being established. Uh, connectivity is a major transport, and connectivity is a major contribution of India. So, two uh, bilaterals were held today with the uh, Myanmar's counterpart and the Nepalese counterpart. What were the outcome of these uh, bilaterals? There's a lot of lot of things which are in the pipeline with Myanmar, but still a long way to go. Uh, a lot of the connectivity projects are going through here, a lot of border trade projects are going through here. Um, we, are, uh, we are looking at uh, uh, huge investment possibilities this way. Uh, as far as uh, Nepal is concerned, but you know that Nepal is a very special friend. Uh, Prime Minister described the destinies of the two countries being intertwined and being interlinked. Uh, we see both for Nepal and for India a win-win situation in development of the hydroelectric power. And for more, we are joined by our correspondent, <coughs> Siddhant Sibyl, who joins us uh, from the summit venue in Myanmar. Uh, Siddhant, uh, the Prime Minister is to hold an important bilateral with the Sri Lankan President today. Uh, you know, this meeting comes at uh, just days ahead of the scheduled vote uh, at the United Nations Human Rights Council on a resolution calling for an international inquiry into the alleged war crimes on Sri Lanka. We know the Prime Minister had refused to go to Colombo for the Commonwealth heads of government meeting. What is likely to come up uh, between the two? Uh, well, uh, Amrita, uh, that is the big bilateral which everyone, the uh, entire Indian uh, uh, contingent, Indian delegation here is waiting for. Yesterday, when Salman Khurshid, uh, ha uh, I had a, ch a chance to talk with him, he said that uh, he uh, and uh, the India's point is the fact that uh, they will advocate that, 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 that the 13th Amendment stays and he didn't disclose what will be India's stand. He categorically said that India and Sri Lanka both still haven't received a resolution, the copy of the resolution. Uh, that, he said, will happen when it's hap it, ha it has to happen. But as of now, uh, uh, talking, uh, uh, communication is the only way forward that India needs to get connected to Sri Lankans and uh, 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 he also said that uh, today when the meeting takes place, uh, that of course will uh, be one of the agenda. Uh, he uh, uh, didn't disclose, uh, uh, will India uh, uh, put forward or pressurize Sri Lanka on any kind of probe uh, into the mm -hmm. LTTE uh, 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 war which happened in 2009. Mm. Uh, but uh, that, of course, uh, the entire bilateral is an important event here. But uh, uh, what's happening in BIMSTEC? Well, Amrit, the BIMSTEC summit has started. It started at 9 a.m. local time. That's 8 a.m. Indian standard time. Mm -hmm. All the leaders have arrived. Uh, the, the statement, uh, the, the summit started with the, the Myanmar's president, Thin Sen, uh, mm -hmm. saying, uh, giving his opening statements. Uh, now the uh, summit has commenced and it will continue to... 12 uh, uh, p.m. local the time, today, and uh, thereafter the final communique uh, will come. Of course, a uh, permanent secretariat. Uh, hello. Yeah, I said, what's on the uh, agenda Amrit? of the summit?
Oh, at the agenda of the summit, there are 13 priority sectors, Amrit. India mm -hmm. is emphasizing on energy, people-to-people -people contact, connectivity, security, and of course, the biggest of, the, of, of all them is counter-terrorism, uh, given the fact that uh, uh, it, uh, it, it deeply affects India's northeast. Uh, that will be one of the agenda. Yesterday, uh, uh, Salman Khurshid had two bilaterals, one with the Sri Lankan counterpart and uh, one, uh, with, uh, one with the minorities, even the, uh, and the Prime Minister also met uh, with uh, uh, both the head of the state. Uh, it, this was also the first meeting of the newly elected Prime Minister of Nepal, uh, Sushil Khurana, with Prime Minister Dr. Mm -hmm. Manmohan Singh. So, uh, uh, this is, uh, the, the agendas are there, the, the 13th agenda which I enumerated, India's uh, stand, and of course, uh, the bilaterals are also important. Let me just give you a, a sense of uh, uh, what's happening on the ground here. The local media is covering the event uh, uh, hugely. Here, uh, I'll just show you the newspapers here. So here are newspapers, the newspaper focusing on the big bilateral, the, the meeting between head of the state. This is a local newspaper here. And uh, let me go on in the English newspaper, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the new light of Myanmar, the bilaterals. Uh, if my camera person can uh, focus on this, uh, the bilaterals between uh, Prime Minister Dr. Uh, 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 Manmohan Singh and uh, Myanmar's President Thin Sen. Of course, uh, 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 on the other side, you can see Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina meeting Thin Sen. So uh, this uh, the uh, the, uh, the BIMSTEC summit is making huge Headlines, waves uh, here. It has been continuously being covered by the local media here, uh, and of course, uh, past four days, uh, uh, I've seen a uh, lots of uh, uh, talking taking uh, taking place, and of course, uh, that is expected to continue. And of course, I can tell from other uh, countries' uh, point of view, Bangladesh is uh, focusing on climate change. Uh, Myanmar is focusing connectivity with India. Okay. Uh, Siddhant, we just watched uh, the one-on-one -on -one that you uh, did with Salman Khurshid, where he says that he's try he would uh, he's looking at Bimstick as a bridge between the ASEAN and the SARC. Given that SARC hasn't really, uh, you know, achieved that prominence as a forum or as an organization, and India and Pakistan continue to dominate there, uh, how uh, important could Bimstick emerge as a vibrant uh, regional entity? Well, uh, uh, Amrit, uh, that's a really good question. Given the fact that SARC has literally uh, become uh, a, 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 a one-off between India and Pakistan, BIMSTEC, on the other hand, has become a high table for South Asian countries and mm -hmm. uh, ASEAN countries, Myanmar, Thailand, India, Bhutan, there are seven countries in, uh, in, in, in the grouping. And this is the third summit. And this mm -hmm. time around, uh, the agenda, as you just when you started mm -hmm. your bulletin, you said that a permanent secretariat would be established in Dhaka, uh, giving uh, and also uh, 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 there will be other centers established. One climate center in Noida, economic mm -hmm. cooperation center also will be established. So, so uh, 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 this uh, uh, BIMSTEC is set to emerge as a strong group in this region and provide a, 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 a kind of a grouping of like-minded countries. All right, Siddhant, we leave it there. Many thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll keep coming back to you through the day. And uh, on that note, we're heading for a short break. We'll be back in a moment. Keep watching.